As we begin uh, worship today, I'd like us to refer to a popular psalm that is often used in the call to worship, Psalm 95. The first verse says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. I wanted us to meditate briefly on the phrase, the rock of our salvation. God is the rock of our salvation. You know, when we read that, sometimes it's so familiar, we don't think about it. But if you lived in a culture, in a place where there's a lot of desert, and you know that the sand is shifting and is unstable, there's a lot of comfort when you find a rock. A rock is something you can hold on to. A rock is something you can build on. It's solid, it's stable. It won't shift like the sand. That reminds us of what Jesus said when it, He calls us to build our lives, not on sand, but on the rock. That is God and His truth. We live in a time when there are many sands, and sometimes the sands are like hurricane, like, like a sandstorm, all these ideas, uh, all these pressures of life. But there is a rock, and He is the rock of our salvation, the God who can save us. Save us from what? Save us from the falsehood that is all around us that is popular. Save us from the weaknesses of our lives, the struggles, uh, the pains and the wounds we have. Save us from the attacks of the enemy, the evil one. Save us from danger. Save us from our foolishness and our mistakes as well. God saves us in so many ways every day. He is truly the rock of our salvation. And every day in these small things He saves us from, as well as the big things, culminating of course in the great gift of salvation in Jesus Christ, that we can become His children and so worship Him rightly as you worship Him today. Ask the Spirit to show you how God is your rock of salvation. And may your worship be deep, heartfelt and life-changing. Jesus' name, highly favored, anointed. 
Today we just want to dwell in your goodness, Lord. How you have proven yourself over and over to us, Lord. That everything around us just speaks of your creation, Lord. That you are God, the maker of heaven and earth. And one whom we can call Abba Father, Lord. That we can hold on unto you and feel safe and secure even in the storms. God, you are so good. And that's why we want to praise and worship you today, Lord. Come, let's sing. God, you're so Say 
set my feet upon the rock Cause now I know
Thank you, Lord, that there's nothing we can do or say but to offer our heart to you, Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, for being the Lord of our lives. Thank you for being the rock of our salvation, where we can anchor and put our hope and trust in you, and that you are the God who truly saves, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Lord, this we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs>